Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm currently in the process of repairing this uh, GTX 970 over here and I have a small problem with one of the tracers. While trying to repair it I did a modification which I mentioned in uh, the last video about this so if you're interested I put a link uh, on top right here and I ripped off a, a trace. Now I have to repair it and this is this video's content on one way that I found uh, how you can repair a trace. Now right now the GPU is in this uh, UV cure chamber uh, that is actually for fingernails so if you're doing your nail art you can uh, uh, cure the um, acrylic and stuff. But I'm currently misusing it for the GPU because I... well. When I ripped off the trace, there was some leftover trace, and I tried to solder to the leftover and use the grinder to grind off the uh, solder mask. But I first hit a neighboring trace, and to prevent any short in the future, I uh, decided to get some UV curable solder mask on top, and I used this uh, blue stuff over here. Now this is already pretty much, yeah, not totally, but. Uh, yeah, pretty much cured and uh, this prevents shorts and this will also hold the replacement trace in place and the replacement trace that I uh, use is one of these very very small copper pieces over here I literally used a sheet of copper like this one over here if I can grab this it's very thin and I simply used my exacto knife. I, I tried to find the exact thickness, set it on top and press down to get these very small pieces over here. And I'll simply try to solder them to the leftover pad. They are very very thin pieces so that should not lift up the controller uh, too far. And then I have to simply route the leftover or the the longer piece sticking out underneath the uh, sticking out from the controller I see uh, to the passive that I already determined where I can route it to to make the appropriate electrical connection. Uh, I'll give the GPU another round of uh, UV curing and then we should be good to go. Okay, the UV curable solder mask is properly cured. As you can see it's slightly... Uh, it can be scratched still, that's okay. We'll get another round uh, as soon as I sold it onto this pad over here. And if you take a look, maybe you can see these. Oh, you could have seen it better before I actually scratched the surface. But this one faint line over here and the neighboring one over here are the two traces that I removed the black solder mask off of. And this pad over here has to be connected to this passive and uh, let's see how or if the traces that I cut do fit or if they are still too big. Uh, that's yeah, not perfect. This is the one trace that I have or rather had the most hope for and uh, I have to you know, I have to do it a bit different so it can work easier have to turn this around so that I can go in from this side over here and if I now yeah it seems as if I should be able to attach it like this uh, the trace or this uh, piece needs to be actually much thinner, maybe half its current thickness, but because we do not have anything conductive in this area over here, this is nothing, is it? Yeah, that's nothing. Wait. Ah, uh, no, wait, actually, this is a bit too close, I think, because we do have a wire. Uh, if I tilt this slightly, need more light. Let's see. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, I think I have to cut a piece away. This is very, very tricky. I can actually 
maybe I can show you this. So what I try to do currently is I go on top with my knife and try to press down and then cut it. Had to do this on the side. There wasn't enough space between the lens. And now we have a even smaller piece that I might be able to use. Uh, this one over here, where is it? Ah, it's it's hard. I can't find this thing on lens. Um, let's see. So controller over here. Go in and yeah, there we are. That's actually much better. Yeah, that that seems to fit perfectly. So that is what I will be using. Now I have to prepare this pad and use my soldering iron it doesn't really work it's quite difficult to work with the camera in my way so I have to be really careful I don't want to cause any more damage okay Should be fine. Now I need my trace. Is this the one? Yes. I quickly touch the one end that I'm going to solder on the pad with my soldering iron. Now we have a bit of solder. Let's see. Apply it on this side. Can you see that? On the tip, there's a bit of solder. It's hard to tell on the camera screen. Um, so I have a bit of solder. Yeah, that's better, I think. There's a bit of solder on this side. No, I have, oops, I have to turn this around so the solder faces downwards. With my left hand trying to touch the pad. And then with the iron in my right hand. Trying to attach it. That is not very easy. Actually, quite difficult. Almost. I think I have to do this off camera. Uh, this is the idea. So, uh, let me quickly do this off camera. Then I come back as soon as this is done. Alright, uh, I was finally able to attach the cover piece of camera. And as you can see, we're now properly in place. Um, let me just quickly check, but I th don't think... Yeah, that's nothing. That's okay. Uh, that is properly in place. Now I have to bend this piece over to this passive component. Uh, essentially do a 90 degree bend. Then get some additional UV curable solder mask on top and we are good to go. Uh, hopefully. I obviously have to do a few uh, measurements so that uh, this pad over here is not shorted to this pad. And we have electrical connection from this pad to the passive over here. These are the two main uh, problems uh, or the two things that I'm concerned about. I need my second... Um, of tweezers and then let's see if I can get this one on top to hold it in place this one to bend over well oh, that's very dark I need to realign the light Almost got the bend right. Bad. Oops. Yeah, that's it. 
very good. And now it goes to the right component. Just quickly press down. Then I have to shorten this and sold it to the component over here that is currently underneath. And then I'll come back and we do the measurements. And if this works, well, that is how you repair pads. Or rather, well, you can repair pads or you can repair traces. Um, I mean, it, it should work, but let's see how good I execute this. Okay, so I got the piece trimmed. Now I have to bend this back down. Oh no, we are going to the wrong piece. It is oh no, it's supposed to go over here. I think. What did I do wrong? Yeah, have to redo this. Be right back. As you can see, I was able to solder another piece in place. Now we have it flat sitting on this pad over here. It then uh, rotates slightly and goes over here. I did this small rotation because this is a very tight band and we are operating a very tight space. We do have the appropriate resistance between these two pads over here. We have connectivity between this passive component over here and this pad. I can the only continuity measurement I can make is from this passive component to the pad. Because these two, they cannot be shorted, but they do have a very, very low resistance. As you can hear, we have continuity, but we actually have 4.4 ohm, which is totally fine for these two connections. And as it seems right now, the repair was successful. Now, again, we are operating in a very, very tight space. And uh, to prevent any short, I would like to get a more of this uh, UV curable uh, solder mask on top, but because I don't know if the repair is successful, I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, but that is actually uh, everything for this video. It's just, uh, yeah, like presenting you a way to repair pads with copper sheets cut them to the trace thickness or, or rather the trace width and then you can repair traces, repair pads and it's not a problem. Oh, the only thing that I can still do in this video is actually get the controller back in place. This would be actually quite interesting because I, I'm, I'm saying that uh, it's flat enough to get the controller on top but I can actually prove that by Sorting back in place, I just thought about this. Now I'll get some flux on top of all the pads. And my heat gun. And I'll heat both the component as well as the pad at the same time. So that we can get this first in place. So I'm heating the metal surface underneath the controller as well as the pads that get soldered to. I need to go in a bit closer. Both are now properly heated up. I'm going to align it this and set it simply on top. Then it's just a waiting game. Yeah, that's, that's it. So I need to align everything properly. And I think we are good to go. And that's it. Control is in place. It's the right side up. And it seems we did... Well, it seems we have good electrical contact. But I have to uh, take a closer look. So on this side, you can see this is how it's supposed to look. On this side, let's see, can we... Um, 
far off. This is how it's supposed to look. The third side looks good. Uh, maybe this one joint over here, this one not perfect. I'll just go in with my soldering iron and try to get a bit more solder in here. This side looks... Uh, yeah, this as well may need some touch-up, but the other two sides are good. And now, uh, yeah, that's how it's uh, going to be. In this specific case, this is the most complicated it can be, because we're dealing with an area that is like... What is this? Um, let's see. Uh, I have my caliper over here. So the area we are actually dealing with, the distance, is approximate. So from here to here, this is a distance of just 3 mm. And these uh, pads, the controller pads over here, I roughly measured them to be 0.3 mm wide. It is a very, very small area and this was my first time. So uh, I hope you liked the video and if you did, please leave a like, comment down below. And other than that, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!